So watching Yokai watch the movie and it's getting good. It was okay until the point of where all oh, mother fucking son of a hell. Yeah, the freaking lame behind intro of Yokai watch is put into this too. I would at least like it to be safe and just have the original one that they decided to adapt from Japan, the Japanese version. And well, no, they're actually using the stupid one that they've created. I mean, my gosh, it's time for a change. Make a cool one. Not this lame piece of crap one as if someone's giving you a sandwich. And sadly, the sandwich has been in the back for so long that it's bending and it's wet. Yes, that's exactly Exactly what this song is to me is that. My gosh. They even got freaking damn Hover Now actually saying Robo Now's catchphrase. It's Crackalacka Boom Boom. I can't really remember it because I know it was stupid as frick, but yeah. Apparently that's going to carry on in many places, which, oh God, have mercy upon this show's soul. So, folks, I just watched Yokai the movie, and Yokai the movie, I would say it's pretty okay because they just translated it. They did a decent job. Was there ad lib? A few bits of ad lib. I'd have to admit, the ending, even with the in Japanese version, I do have to admit, it is kind of a messed up little downer. The fact of, you know how it is, where some are like, you have this theory of, oh my gosh, your relatives are all around you. They don't go to heaven. They don't go to hell. They're just here on the earth. While, of course, many should believe that, yeah, they, they are in a better place. They're not here. But sadly, with Yokai's world, it's kind of sad to be like, oh, fuck, the grandfather is stuck on earth. Damn. 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 <laughs> Yeah, I really messed the freak up. It really is. It really is messed up. Oh, I didn't see this last part. One second, folks. Oh, wait. That's just at. That's just art. Okay. So, yeah. um, It's the same old, same old. It's the same exact thing that happens. And I'm glad they actually made this movie. I think this movie was kind of in theaters, along with on TV as well. So that's a good idea. Thank goodness. And the craziest part has to be the fact of I have so many yokai medals. I got them from season one and I was like, none of them were so many of them weren't in the freaking series, man. None of them were. And it turns out a few of them actually came from the damn movie. Okay. The movie was freaking months away and they decided for season one of the freaking blind bags. Let's put many of the movie characters in there. Are you serious? You should actually have put many of the characters you see in a TV show first. I mean, you don't have, they call him Hot Pierre, but I don't like that freaking name and his wife. You don't have those medals yet. What the frick is that about? It really is kind of bull crap. It really freaking damn is, man. It really is. But hey, they adapted, they adapted this movie very, very greatly. I did understand even more than what I did in the Japanese version. I think I wasn't paying attention that much. So, yeah, lots of things actually got added on there that I was like, oh, wow, oh. And I do have to actually admit the last part, which is the ending. The beginning, of course, like I just said in the very beginning of this video, oh, freaking damn it, they have the freaking lame stupid behind song but then in the end they decided to be like oh what the hell we'll do exactly what the japanese did the japanese version did and they actually did it which i was like whoa really so yeah they had garrick garrick and also they had doopy doopy dun dun dooby doo and everything else was just like oh that's pretty cool that's pretty awesome so good job on that one i think that was great so yeah i would have to say watch or don't watch i say this is a good one this is a good adaptation again I have freaking vendetta when it comes or a grudge when it comes to the freaking stupid TV show version of the song. But I will say at least the movie is watchable. The movie is watchable. It's good. And plus you'll find out that in the, vid in the video game, they got some of their content from the movie. So it's kind of funny. It's like, oh, so I guess that was their plan B just in case to actually have some content from the movie. So just in case they didn't 
release the movie, the video game would fill in a gap a little bit. But of course, well, they have to do the movie because way, 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 way into the future in episodes, you actually will have, um, I forgot what his name, Shark Spielberg or Shark, um, Shark Gates. Or... Oh, anyways, he's a freaking shark mixed with, um, Apple's founder. Yeah. So and it wasn't Bill Gates. It was something else. Steve Jobs. So Steve Sharks, I think it was his name or Sharks Jobs, something like that. So yeah, that's. That's something they have to have in the continuity because if they don't, oh damn. But at least the good news is that they realize, oh, this guy's a parody of the freaking Star Wars character. And they went all out on there. And I'm like, say, good job. Good job. You own that property. Good job. But it sucks that you didn't go and consider, hey, um, guys who own Terminator, can we parody your character? But of course, you don't really need to have you don't have to ask to do a parody of a person because if they did, then Saturday night live would never actually have Donald Trump being played by Alec Baldwin. They just do it when it comes to parodies and stuff. That's funny. You just get to do it. You don't get to actually ask for anything. It's like, yeah, Japan. Yeah. The guys who did that didn't ask. Oh, um, at the time it was, um, George Lucas who had it. So that means they would actually have asked George Lucas, Hey, um, can we parody star Wars? And most likely would just say yes anyways, but they didn't do that. They just went for it. So it sucks that they red con the whole, yeah, a red con it. It's, it's messed up. But again, the movie, very good. Go watch it. Very fun. 